Well, all eyes were on the Hawkeye State tonight for the beginning of the long 2024 presidential primary season. Former President Trump secured a decisive victory in the frigid Iowa caucuses, pushing America closer to a possible rematch with President Biden. In a state with just 8% of California's population, presidential hopefuls have historically looked to Iowa to help launch themselves to nominee status. And tonight in sub-zero temps, Iowans gathered for the first test of support for Republicans in what ended up being a race for second place. KHLA's Carlos Acedo has been tracking the contest all night long for us, and he joins us live from the KHLA News Center with the latest. Carlos? Micah and B, good evening. The big question heading into the night, how the frigid weather was going to impact turnout, if at all. Now we saw democracy in action as Iowans braved the cold temps to let their voices be heard. With Trump the favorite, tonight's outcome was not a surprise. All eyes were on who would come in second place. Now let's look at the numbers here. With 97% of the vote in, former President Trump received slightly more than 50% of the vote. Ron DeSantis came in second with 21%, edging out Nikki Haley, who came in a close third. Vivek Ramaswamy in last place. We want to thank the great people of Iowa. Thank you. We love you all. Former President Trump with a decisive victory in Iowa tonight, calling Republicans to unify behind him hours after the first in the nation contest took place. And I really think this is time now for everybody our country to come together. We want to come together, uh, whether it's Republican or Democrat. His rivals fell far behind. All eyes on the battle for second place. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis coming in second after being neck and neck with former Ambassador Nikki Haley, who finished a close third. The pundits will analyze the results from every angle. We get that. But when you look at how we're doing in New Hampshire, in South Carolina and beyond. They threw everything but the kitchen sink at us. They spent almost $50 million attacking us. After finishing in fourth place, Vivek Ramaswamy announcing he's dropping out and endorsing Trump. As of this moment, we are going to suspend this presidential campaign. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Iowa Caucuses. The frigid temperatures did not keep Iowans from turning out to the GOP caucuses that kick off the election season. Paper ballots were counted by hand as caucus goers attended school gymnasiums, churches and community centers to pick their nominee. Loyola law professor Jessica Levinson. Iowa is not representative of the entire country. Iowa is not demographically representative. But I think what the vote tonight is telling us is that Trump is in fact extremely popular with that base. And therefore, something huge is going to have to happen for him not to become the Republican nominee. It, frankly, we would need a big legal development, I think, for him to be toppled from his first place. Now it's off to New Hampshire for the next Republican primary. That takes place next week, but Trump is still facing legal troubles. He is set to appear in a New York courtroom tomorrow for a defamation case. Reporting live in the KTLA News Center, Carlos Salcedo, KTLA 5 News. All right, Carlos, thank you.